Okay. So hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to see this question with the average. Okay. So let's read the problem statement. There are n students in a class, and recently, an exam on the advanced algorithm was conducted with maximum score as m and the minimum score as zero. The average score of the class was found to be exactly x. Okay. Given that the student having score strictly greater than the average receive an A grade, find the maximum number of students that can means receive a A grade. Okay. So uh, it's the input format for the t test cases. We have n, m, and x, and this is the sample case for two, ten, and fifty. Our answer will be one. So let me explain you a few things. Okay. First of all, we have n, m, and x, right? Now, consider a case where x is equal to m. In this case, the elements which are having their value as greater than x will be m plus one or we can say that there is some element let's say ai whose value is greater than or equal to x plus 1 because it's giving the question like score strictly greater than the average okay and x here is equal to m means there is an element whose value is m plus 1 and in the question they have given that the maximum value of any element of the array is m then how it is possible for an element to contain a value more than m which means when x is equal to m then we just simply print 0 because there is no way to partition the array or uh, to maximize the number of students that we can get for an a grade now, after this for the, all the other cases first of all we have to find the sum sum of all the elements okay now we have given the array x now the the average x and the x is we have to find the sum for that uh, the x is given as sum of all all elements divided by n now we want the sum so sum is n into x right okay after that consider another statement like for an ai element to have its value greater than x okay let's say the value of ai is x plus 1 now why x plus 1 why not x plus 2 x plus 3 and more than x value we just want more than x right then why x plus 1 because we want to maximize the number of students okay now to maximize something let's say you have 20 uh, let's say you have 20 candies okay now you want to distribute this 20 means a candies to the more number of people now there are how many ways to distribute this particular 20 candies the first is 10 10 another one is 5 5 10 so in the first one we can distribute it among two people in the second one we can distribute it among three people and so on what is the maximum number we can get here i think it is 20 like give one one to each, to each of the students up till 20th then we have 20 now as you can see that if we want to maximize the number of students in which which are involved in the distribution we just simply have to give each of the students a single candy this by this means we can easily get the maximum value of number of students okay that's why we want the minimum value of ai and there is a condition like the ai value is always always greater than the x so the minimum value considering this particular condition is ai equals to x plus one we just want to find how many such ai elements exist in the total sum of n into x such that their value is x plus 1 so what we do we just simply take sum divided by this particular or our ai this will give the number of ais in the particular sum and the sum is n into x divided by our ai element that is x plus 1 so this will be our answer for all the other cases except x equals to m okay Like this. Now let's code it. Okay. So first of all, we define three variables n, m, and x. We take the input n, n, and x. Now we check if x equals to m, then we just simply print zero. Okay. Else, in the else part, we just simply print n into x divided by x plus one. To bracket this 
okay so let's first of all run it One two zero nine, one two zero nine. Right. Let's submit it. This particular first condition is for the like AI value is greater than x and x is m means AI value is more than m. But in the question they have given that the in the whole array the maximum element is m. Then how a particular element AI can contain a value more than m? That's why we just simply print a zero here. And for all the other cases we assume the minimum value of AI and find how many such minimum AI array elements are there. For a total sum of n into x, okay. So this is the code for the problem. Beat the average. Hope you all liked it. Okay. So thank you.